Hello guys, welcome back, and today we're back on my Arc Genesis server, but we're covering just a general Arc Guide video. So again, this is something that probably a lot of endgame people will want to know, um, especially if you've not done it before, which is probably the case, because most people that have done it before will not need to come to this video. So, the video is about how to make kibble. So, there's, again, there's not two methods, but there's a much more efficient way but costlier in the beginning, and a much more longer way, but simpler in the beginning. So, we're going to cover the first method, which most people will be able to do, and that is via the cooking pot. So, for this example, I'm going to be making extraordinary kibble, just because it's going to be the most beautiful to me, and, well, yeah, you know, I, this is my server, so, yeah. So, I'm in the cooking pot, and these are the ingredients that I need to make extraordinary kibble. Now, in total, there are six different kibbles. Basic, simple, regular, superior, exceptional, and extraordinary. Extraordinary is the best, basic is the worst. A dino that needs basic kibble can be tamed with any of the above kibbles, whereas a dino with extraordinary kibble will need only extraordinary kibble. He will not be able to be tamed with that below it. So, that is the way it works. So, for example... A dino needing superior kibble cannot be tamed with regular, simple, or basic, but can be tamed with superior, exceptional, and extraordinary. It will not matter. Anyways, without getting into it, this is how you do it. So, with a cooking pot, you're going to need water skins to supply the water. You will then need the ingredients, which for extraordinary kibble requires a special egg, which is um, a UT egg, a Magmasaur egg, a Wyvern egg, a Drake egg, and there's two others that I can't think of. Oh, a golden Esperonis egg, and there's one other that I can't think of. So I've got some UT eggs, because I've got two UTs back at the other base. It then requires five fiber, ten major berries, one giant bee on each, and one Lazarus chowder each. So again, each kibble is a different ingredient requirement. So I'm going to put the links down below to each of those kibbles. But, for example, for now, I've got one main ingredient in order to actually start cooking these bad boys. So, if I jump over here, we should have some spark powder. We do indeed. So, once you've got all the ingredients, you do need spark powder to actually light the campfire. And what you'll notice is the campfire does take around 30 seconds or so to create your kibble. So we're just going to sit here and watch. I know you don't really want to do this, but I want to show off the example of the next thing I'm going to show you. Which will kind of amaze you when it comes down to timing. But it will take a major, major investment from you. So bear that in mind when I show you this next. There you go. So it's just made our first extraordinary kibble. So I'm going to leave that one crafted in the next one. But we're going to come over here to my industrial cooker so industrial cooker does it have any other uses not really it does the exact same thing as the cooking pot but one major difference in my opinion and it's why i always want to try and craft the industrial cooker as soon as i can when it comes down to you taming and creating kibble so here we go turn it on i've got all the ingredients but i've got six times the amount as you can see turn it on and watch how quick this makes it compared to the cooker. You got your first one already, then your second one, then your third one. See, so it just it makes it so much quicker. So if you could dump a ton of ingredients in this thing, and it will make it so much quicker. As you can see, I've just made all six already there. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna grab them, 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 and them. And then if we go over here, we should have our cooking pot all done and dusted as well. Yep. Put out that fire. So that, guys, is how you make the kibble. You basically just need a cooking pot or an industrial cooker. You then need the ingredients, and then that's it. Craft it. It's that simple, guys. I'm going to put these in my refrigerator. So, oh, I don't know why I've put them in two in there. They don't need to be in there. So putting them in a free, uh, fridge will make them last a lot longer, and I would recommend doing so because they're not cheap to make. Kibble is an expensive resource to craft. It is definitely towards the end game resource, but it will save you so much time when it comes down to taming dinos, guys. So, I mean, for one example, when Aquets first came out on official servers, if I remember rightly, to tame one with 
even prime meat, it would take around 20 hours or something stupid like that. Whereas with kibble, you're only talking about four. So that is a massive difference. I mean, I could be wrong. Those are just, those are just rough numbers because I don't play on official servers no more. But it just shows you the significance in what kibble does. Especially on my server, server, it would take one or two kibble to tame some of the biggest dinos that I tamed. But yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. I will put the links down below for each of the kibbles from basic up to extraordinary. So that if you are looking for them when you've watched this video, you just need to drop down there and click on them. And it'll take you straight to the ingredients for each one of them. So yeah, catch you next time guys, and thanks for sticking.